Ooh, it's October. Halloween is on its way. I'm gonna get some popcorn and curl up with one of my favorite movies, The Bride of Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. I got the inspiration for this week's spooky art and design project from the classic 1932 Bela Lugosi movie, White Zombie. In particular, this awesome gothic island castle. My intention isn't to recreate that castle, but rather create a work of art that reflects its dark and foreboding appearance. I've got plenty of scrap wood for this project and I want three different thicknesses. Even though there's no right way to make an art project, I actually took the time to design some plans just so I could play around with the dimensions and layout and overall look of this piece. I probably won't stick to these exactly, but having them gives me a little more confidence in how the finished piece will turn out. Basically, I'm gonna build this in layers, starting at the back and working my way forward. I would guess that most people have never seen White Zombie, which is overshadowed by Dracula and Frankenstein, which were released a year earlier. It's not a great movie, the parts of it are very boring and the acting is kind of awkward, but the movie is a good example of an early horror talkie. The dark and gothic cinematography is quite good and it has a weird low-key soundtrack that sort of gnaws at you. And of course I think Bela Lugosi was awesome in everything. Today, White Zombie is probably most notable for a couple of other things. One, it's considered the first zombie movie, although back then zombies were controlled by voodoo practitioners who used them to do their evil bidding. The zombies in this movie are actually pretty dull and they don't eat people. Of course, a lot of people today are more familiar with the 80s and 90s metal band White Zombie, formed by Rob Zombie, who named the band after the movie. White Zombie, the band, had some great music, and Rob Zombie is still recording music and touring. And Rob Zombie has become one of my favorite indie film directors. White Zombie the movie is in public domain. I think it would be amazing to see a Rob Zombie remake of that. I want this sculpture to be a study of darkness and black. Rather than painting it, burning it will impart an organic texture to the material. The wood blisters and warps under the flame and at times it kind of feels like painting with fire. I can't help but think of the gothic trope of storming a castle with pitchforks and torches. I really spent a lot of time on this burning process and the experience became part of the art. I sprayed on a clear matte finish to eliminate the burnt odor and prevent the charring from rubbing off. I did paint the back panel because the plywood doesn't seem to char as nicely as solid wood. I'm really intrigued and inspired by art that has a story to tell when its creation becomes inseparable from the finished piece. In a lot of ways, the movie White Zombie lives on in its context rather than just as a popcorn diversion. I think art is best as a shared experience. A few frames of a castle in a film is transformed into an idea that is shared by all of the viewers of a YouTube video 85 years later. And I hope you've enjoyed being a part of this. Let me take just a moment to talk to you about Away, who helped make this art and design episode possible. Away talked to thousands of people and designed luggage to specifically address the most common complaints. This is the Away carry-on, sized to meet major airlines carry-on specifications. A huge problem we all have with luggage are sticky wheels that never seem to work right. Away addressed this with four 360 degree spinner wheels that actually work smooth. Quick side note, did you hear the guy who invented the shopping cart died. His hearse kept pulling to one side all the way to the funeral. It's got a TSA approved combination lock. And the best part, this is awesome. A built-in charger with two USB ports that can recharge your phone up to five times. All Away suitcases are made with unbreakable polycarbonate for strength and impact resistance. Away comes with a lifetime warranty, free shipping, and a 100-day risk-free trial period. Plus, Away is offering a $20 discount to viewers of Woodworking for Mere Mortals. Just go to awaytravel.com slash woodworking and enter the promo code woodworking at checkout. Thanks for joining me for this week's art and design project, which is turning out to be very difficult to photograph with the black on black.
I'm really thrilled with the way this turned out. The burning of the wood gave it a lot of really cool texture that I wouldn't have been able to get with just black paint. I designed this so that there would be room in the back for these little flickering tea lights so that the windows would look like they were lit up. But as it turns out, once this is in place, you can't see them at all with all that black. Nothing is reflected. So I don't really need those and I haven't yet decided if I want to mount this in place or just leave it loose like that. And I also haven't decided if I want to have the box going this way or this way, which was how I originally planned it. To me, this completely captures the feeling of dark and foreboding. Let me know if you have any projects planned for Halloween. I've got a couple more coming up this month that you're going to like. Oh, I also want to remind you that we still have these t-shirts available in our limited edition store along with new watches. Check these out. Let's see if I can get a close up of that. If you enjoy the artsier side of woodworking for mere mortals, check out my playlist of other art and design projects. Thanks again for watching everybody. I'll see you next week.